Okay, so today I'm going to do one of my sterile techniques. And I'm hoping to stay within my time frame. If you guys see anything that I'm doing wrong, please tell me. If you guys have words of encouragement, I take those too. Alright, so when you first walk in, they're going to read you this little passage. So it's, hello, my name is Adam. This is the application of sterile technique. You are expected to adhere to the professional behavior's essential competency throughout the station. The patient's medical record is here. The mannequins, I'm running out of space, are here. And your supplies are here. You are allotted two kits to perform the procedure. The mannequin will serve as the patient. Tell me when you've completed the document with your clinical decision and when you've completed the critical elements for the station. You have 30 minutes to complete the station. And they'll say like, the time is blah, and you have until this time, so I'm gonna start my timer. My paper, and this is my S-bar. So, Jacob Jones. All right, so read the S bar, and it has everything on it. That the patient came out of PACU, was unable to avoid and acquired intimate urinary catheter 15 minutes ago. Miss Field's void was 200 milliliters of clear yellow urine with an estimated post-void residual of 400 milliliters. Um, the patient has a wound dressing to the left lower extremity. A physician assistant changed the dressing at 0600 today. The wound bed looks red with granulation. No odor noted. Dressing is dry and intact. And uh, he does report pain at the surgical site with a 2 and 6 on the numeric rating scale. And the patient has a pick line in the right upper extremity. Last dressing changed yesterday. Dressing is dry, intact, with no redness or swelling at the insertion site. So I'll go to the orders medical record and I'm going to read the orders so bladder scan after each void and if patient has not voided for six hours intermittent catheterization using sterile technique if post void residual scan estimates volume greater than 200 milliliters or if patient is unable to void sterile dressing change wound to the left lower extremity every 12 hours and that was changed today. And then sterile pick line dressing every three days. And the pick line was changed yesterday. So I'm assuming we're doing the catheterization because she has a post board residual of 400. And so I'm going to click that one. And I will hand this to the CE and she will say, you may continue. And be like, okay, so now I gotta pick out my stuff. My mannequins are over here. It's only on a female, too, from what I've been told by Excelsior. So I got my little fake vagina there and calf kit, sanitizer. That's all I need. Alright, so then I'm going to take, I'm going to pretend this thing has an armband on it. So it'll be like Jacob Jolly, Jacob Jolly, birthday 2021-61, birthday 2-21-61, MRN 1-2-3-4-5-6, MRN 1-2-3-4-5-6, okay. My hands. Open my kit. Move this stuff out of the way. Just 
provide privacy. No, we're gonna have to fold back that. Open up my kit without contaminating it. My kit's been used up pretty well, so I don't have a actual drop cloth. I have a paper towel. Gloves. I'm like so worried that just not washing my hands enough is going to be a fail, so I'm gonna wash them before I put on my sterile gloves. I can touch anything in my kit, so I'll bring it a little closer. I have my swabby things. My lube, open that up. Squish that in there. Discard that. Alright, now I can get this hand dirty. So I'm going to spread the labia and start cleaning. I'm going to go outside, the inner side, and straight down the middle. Bring that little boat up closer, get that all lubed up. Alright, and I'm going to Insert three inches. Butter pee. Take that out. Put that back in there. Take this. Tap her dry. <laughs> All the stuff in here. Clean my hands. Cover the patient back up. Discard. And then I will chart. So it was like 1800. Um, Say bladder scan post void revealed four hundred ML using sterile technique. Inserted oh crap. I don't know if you can see it, but on here it says what size the catheter is. Inserted a 14 French intermittent urinary catheter. Denies discomfort. So that sounds and then you sign it. And if I go back to my book 
here. The gauntlet. We're going to buy Excelsior's rules here. Oh goodness. Oh by the way, where's my little timer at? It took me ten minutes. So I'm getting better. Catheterization, you're going to document the data related to the urinary status. So I did with the post void revealed 400 milliliters. Um, the time of the current catheterization, which is 1800, and the size of the catheter, which was the 14 French, which you can find on the actual bag. I'm going to pull it out to see if you can see it. Do -do -do -do. I don't know how close I can get that. I don't know if you can see that. It says cath 14 French or 14 FR. So that's, and I don't know whether or not I have to put like patient denies discomfort, but you know, they always want you to assess everything you do, like how the patient tolerated it and stuff like that. So that's why I want to put patient denies discomfort. So that is my catheterization. You can critique me all you need, please. Feel free to be brutal, because I would rather hear it from you guys than fail this test. Alright, thank you, and I'm going to do the next one in a second.